fear is. The Mariyama do. They thrive on it. These monstrous celestials haunt the darkest corners of the cluster, hunting for isolated targets. And, unfortunately for their victims, the Mariyama are interested in more than just stealing cargo. They want minds, memories, emotions. The more twisted and tortured, the better. Captured prey will be subjected to intense psychological torment before being neurologically drained. Those rare few who the Mariyama allowed to survive and escape often never return to space, for they know too well the terror that lurks out there in the dark, between the stars. I am CZ Orlev. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Listen to me, Jack. Just because soldiers are on the same side right now doesn't mean they always will be. Politics determine who you face on the battlefield. Is that why you abandoned me? The only thing we can believe in with absolute certainty is the mission. Your mission is to retrieve Dr. Sokolov. You mean the Soviets pulled out of Cuba just to get their hands on Sokolov? That's right. What the hell was he working on? Are you one of Vulcan's men? No. I've come to escort you back to the other side of the Iron Curtain. That's what they were making you build? Yes, the Shagahod. A nuclear-equipped tank capable of operating solo. If it is completed and the Colonel gets his hands on it, it will mean the end of the Cold War. And then the Age of Fear will truly begin. A world war. Ocelot never lets his prey escape. Sokolov was being guarded by the KGB and hunted by crew. Snake, it sounds like this could be even hotter than Cuba. I'm defecting to the Soviet Union. Sokolov is a little gift for my new hosts. Are we taking him with us? No, this one is still just a child. He has not yet found an emotion to carry into battle. Even if they are our enemies, they're still our countrymen. But it won't be me that pulled the trigger. Colonel! It'll be our friend, the American Defector. People aren't the ones who dictate the missions. Then who does? The Times. Sorry I'm late.
They tried. Is everything sorted at the ribs? Affirmative, sir. All squared away. Copy that. Now, make your way back and keep the Zorik. Nina, they'll just break anyway. Somebody's going to steal it. We'll put it in a rig cellar, where the icon is. I don't remember when it happened, but I remember how I felt. Father told us to hide when they came to our house. Then, then they took him away. Mother said I couldn't play outside anymore. Everyone had fled. She said the country was sick. But we would be okay. Mother always said monsters didn't exist. I thought they lived under my bed. We were both wrong. They lived inside our heads.
before their very eyes. Between the bars of their prison. In the shadow of the monolith. the next life. Where do we go from here? You've told us nothing of this place. Look at us now. Raiders. Playing with fire. Everything to lose. But even more to gain. In the heart of the sleeping forest, a murmur spreads. The first rays of sunlight awaken a community ready for action. The ants. With the end of hibernation comes a new set of challenges. Collect resources, secure outposts, fortify our queen's territory, and follow her plans for this new season. Welcome to the fascinating empire of the ants. Play as 103683, an inquisitive ant in a world of unsuspected dangers. Your mission? Defend your colony against rival kingdoms and expand the borders of our queen's empire beyond known lands. But remember, the strength of your people lies in unity and strategy. In this exciting strategy game, every decision counts. Research technologies, train the right legions, and choose which one to send into battle first new threat is on the way. Gather your forces, plan your strategies, and defy the dangers that threaten your home. So, prepare to embark on an epic adventure like no other, in a world never seen, where the fate of millions lies in your soul hand. They're combing the streets. Searching house to house. If they arrest you two, they will take you to their headquarters, and you will not return. I'm more concerned with the six-foot cat man who's got claws that can cut through vibranium alloy. By my count, that makes two super soldiers loose in Paris. Three. Counting you. And that's two too many. I'll be there before the sun rises. Before the Germans, before that American. The Eye of Force has been found. Please, just stick to the rooftops. Be careful. Stand was on me. When am I not? It's better if I tackle this one alone. You may encounter some obstacles. That won't be a problem. Our cat friend is definitely here too. And by the look of things, he's not very far ahead. The American boy is right on your heels. Who the hell are you? If you wanted us dead, we'd be dead. So what do you want? Answers. That's far enough! Stay out of my way! Stand aside! I do not take orders from anyone! I don't have time for this. Neither do I. The 
this thing of ours. It's a brotherhood. Treachery. And deceit do not exist among us. Do you wish to commit yourself, your life, to this family? These were lost. Where is this place? We don't know, but I'm glad these all survived. The map maker will scan them all for recreation. But who saved all these? Now, who collected them while the rest of the world faced catastrophe? That's exactly what we're trying to learn. these bars. There's gotta be a switch to raise these bars. That was the last one. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox, the jabbering crab, and the mad whale and started bending and quacking. The hungry purple dinosaur ate the kind zingy fox. The jabbering crab and the mad whale and started bending and cracking. The hungry purple dinosaurs ate the kind singing fox, the jabbering crab and the mad whale and started bending and cracking.
What the hell? Project Red are experts in open world game design with The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk 2077 combining freedom of exploration with compelling storytelling in unparalleled fashion. Through a new partnership with Epic, CD Project Red is building a brand new Witcher saga with UE5. Our cooperation with Epic has just started. It was uh, the shift towards uh, open world support that brought Unreal Engine 5 to our attention. So there was one demo uh, that happened last year that was the medieval environment demo where at one point uh, there's a notice board that looks strangely familiar to things we've done in the past that has even a sign that says Monster Slayer Wanted. And I'm like, hmm, are they are they trying to tell us, you know, come come over to Unreal Engine, look how great your games could look on there? Is, was that was that whole demo made with that nefarious purpose? I don't know, but it definitely definitely caught my eye. This opens a new chapter for us, where we really want to see how our experience in building open world games gets combined with all the engineering power of Epic. 
One of the things that is really important to keep in mind when, when talking about open world games versus, let's say, more linear games is the possibilities of the things that can go wrong or the, 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 the scenarios that you have to consider are exponentially higher than linear games. Players can go in whatever direction that they want. They can handle content in, in, in any order that they want, theoretically. And to really encapsulate that means that you need a really stable environment where you can be able to make changes with a high level of confidence that it's not going to break in 1,600 other places down the line. Unreal Engine is like a toolbox which has a lot of features, a lot of solutions already there that allow teams to just try new stuff. The fact that Unreal is used by a lot of teams already in the world, a lot of perspectives are projected into the design of the tools, and that helps the tool to be way more agile. So all in all, it's a really, really cool technology to like prototype and make environments really quickly, really beautiful, and very realistic. Epic and CD Projekt Red are the two companies that, that really want to achieve something great. We won't stop just, you know, by uh, developing some features. We, we won't stop there, yeah? We will continue to, to work together to achieve something extraordinary in the end. Crystal Dynamics is proud to be a part of the launch of Unreal Engine 5. This new engine translates into next-level storytelling and gameplay experiences. And that's why we are thrilled to announce today that we have just started development of our next Tomb Raider game, powered by Unreal Engine 5. Our goal is to push the envelope of fidelity and to deliver the high-quality cinematic action-adventure experience that fans deserve from both Crystal Dynamics and the Tomb Raider franchise. We can't wait to take this journey together. Thank you, and congratulations again to the Epic Games team.
My dearest child, this island offers everything you may need in your precious life. Vast forests, roaring rivers, and mountains of rock and ice. You are old enough now to know that for every bit of goodness in this world, an opposing force exists. In the heat of the earth resides a darkness you cannot fathom. Demons as old as time, my child. Do not doubt, even a light like yours can be tempted by the dark. You must always choose good. And that I know you will. Seppe, be resilient, be resourceful. Be brave, my son. Stay in the light, with Babu by your side. And may the magic of this island protect us all. It took a lot of hard work, but we finally completed it, and we are ready for our first globally broadcast battle royale! Welcome to the ultimate real-life gaming arena! It's all the thrill of online shooters, but in the real world! And you stand a chance of winning up to $100 million. Obviously, this is going to attract everyone, not just ex-soldiers. This is like Hunger Games happening in real life. Players must undergo surgery in order to play. They cut off your limbs and they grow back by regen. And then they give you these cybernetic combat limbs and set you loose to go out and slaughter all your opponents. These people are just regular folks who have opted into total madness. Technicians can literally resuscitate soldiers from death. Even extreme fatalities. They can regrow the patient from base tissue. Okay, well, this is our floating surgical ship. It's where we bring our fallen players. And then within a couple of days, they're out playing again. How much worse is this going to get? Are you really going to say nothing in defense of this despicable island of depravity that you are personally responsible for? What the... Oh, my God, am I going insane? What's going on in the world? I fucking love this shit. Welcome to the world's first real battle royale! You think you're tough? Sign up. Come on down to the island. Come test yourself for real. Shots fired!
you're dead. feel to learn the truth about the night sky tragedy long ago you humans slaughtered each other until the whole world lay in ruins and 
Yet, you have been granted another chance in Aurora. It must be the will of your beloved mother goddess. However, I still have no trust in your kind. Survive this trial. Perhaps you might become one of us.
Oh, hell no. Time to find that church. There it is. Now to get over there. Manyage Maria.